Hi! So this is just an update on my mental health. And also, is it a mental health channel if I have not posted a video where I didn't even have the time or energy or will to dry my hair before pressing shoot? So, um, a quick update is today I went to see a new psychiatrist. Um, just because I've learned now that the first opinion might not be the only opinion that's best. You should go for a few opinions. Um, it's really expensive. It cost me almost a thousand dollars here in Singapore where, you know, mental health care is not truly buffered or supported by too many grants. Um, and insurance doesn't cover shit. Um, it's been very hard. Um, I'm very thankful to aff afford this um healthcare but also like very scared of upkeeping it and I know what happens if I do not and I feel sad because I remember growing up and not being able to even afford it before even worrying about learning about it even if I knew about it I couldn't afford it um I still barely can and that's why I went really hard on my art and hopefully with the advocacy and I can like do stuff you know and we'll see how it goes so that is the price of mental health care in Singapore it's a fucking nightmare. Um, and if, you know, you are, you know, if you're going to something that's more affordable, that's more for the masses, what I've seen or heard mostly from friends is that they get very, um, you know, like it's very rushed. And I, and this is because there's not enough money in it. So, so I get it, you know, it's rushed and it's very like cut. It's not going to be like, you know, you're not going to have the you know cordial niceties involved and they're just trying to make sure that you know the baselines are checked um again i think this can be improved and i hope to work towards actually improving it one day uh, and i'm excited to see where it goes so i'm just looking at the screen because trying to unmask a bit more and it set me free um and one of the things that has helped with not masking and masking if you do not know is trying to be like normal uh which means now i actually walk really strange in public uh it's funny and i don't i don't know i don't care like I, well i do care i guess anxiety but i care less and it's liberating because i'm not like sometimes i used to think so much about walking or looking normal that i would trip over my feet like it's anyway <sighs> so i know so anyway so the, the point of this video is to say that I have started or I am you know, starting to go on an SSRI, which is to help the funky feelings in my brain regulate because I've done brain scans and they are upside down and up the ass of, I don't even know. They are somewhere. They are, I don't know what they're doing. They're doing shit. They're doing it on their own. They're kind of living their life, like working it in their own way. Sometimes I have too much. Sometimes I have too little. The thing about not having a regular amount of that, of, of the, you know, that chemical, which, you know, I can do a video about the chemicals one day, but researching it makes me like lose, lose interest in it. And I'm like, oh, why should I upload it? Anyway, um, so the thing about just having brain chemicals not being regulated just means that my emotions are not regulated, which means that I am, you know, along with ADHD and autism, fucking wreck uh, a wreck that might look most of the time like this like i'm just not moving i'm not i might be on my phone like scrolling to get that hit that i need which you know people talk about with the social media addiction and stuff but actually like with adhd i need the stimulation so ironically the more stimulation i get like with my medication which i am on now which i am on um retilin um when I am stimulated enough, it calms my overstimulation down. It's kind of weird, but that's how it works for me. Um, if you have ADHD, uh, depression, anxiety, autism, PTSD, anything, you know, feel free to say hello in the comments. And I'd like to hear your journey, which is exciting. Um, but I just thought I'd start to keep a log because I have tried, I think, another medication. I forgot what it's called. It's the... I can't remember. Anyway, I'll find it, I think, somewhere eventually. Maybe I might not, like ADHD. Um, it's not an excuse. It's a damn good reason to not overstress out myself so I don't shit the bed. But uh, I was the very rare percentage that you read about in, you know, Google pages. 
it gets a ridiculous rash. So that did not work out for me. Uh, I lasted one whole day. And I tried again in one week because I was like, maybe, maybe I ate prawn. I did not. Um, and anyway, so I am currently going on the, um, what is it? Fluoxetine. I'm on the fluoxetine now. I'm on Prozac. I have just begun a course of one pill a day. Um, I can't remember the MG. I'll put it in the description below. Um, of course, don't self-medicate. Like, go, go to a doctor and, you know, it's hard. It might be hard to afford. Um, it might be hard to save up for. And I know that poverty is a fucking drain that traps you um, quite, quite easily. And it's not about making like the better decision for you and everything. And of course, there's no pressure to like, you know, choose therapy, choose medication to enhance yourself. But I can say that shit all I want. And I live constantly with the guilt of being able to afford like this, but also knowing that I have been on the other end. And I also do not know if I can afford the next appointment. And so that is where I'm now. You know, there is privilege tax. There is... There is guilt because I am aware that I can get help, at least right now in this moment. And there are people out there who cannot. And I have lost friends to this to mental health, to mental illness, and I am tired of it. And so that's why I do what I do. Every, everything I do is for the little girl in me that grew up with all her fucking Sesame Street alphabetless bullshit. Trauma, assaults, bullying, abuse, you know, suicide attempts, you know, depression, anxiety, eating disorders, like all of that. You know, all of this work is kind of like a means for me to heal by also apologizing to myself and fighting for me to make up for the fights that I did not fight when I was younger because I did not know how or didn't have, you know, the equipment or the or the education to do. So, um, but most of all, I I fight for the kids now and i fight for the women and the people and you know everyone else on the spectrum in between the for equality for for better for affordability and like just on the way home from therapy and like panicking and trying to move you know when you don't have a lot of money i don't know if you can relate but like you have some money in this card some money in that card because you're trying to separate your finances so you get good at managing it and like you're trying to move it left and right and it's in limbo and it's transferring and you can't pay at the counter and there's the anxiety and you already have anxiety and you're like, oh my God, um, are they going to give me uh, worse care because they know that I can't afford it? You know, there's that, there's all of that. I don't know if you relate, but I ship a bit whenever I, my, my credit card, like not credit card, my debit card doesn't work. Um, also, I don't know. I haven't figured out credit cards. They scare me. I've got one in my life. Um, or I had one in my life and I was absolutely ripped and it was really traumatic. Um, and so, yeah. So I want to kind of try and do more basic updates like this. I guess I'm not going to worry too much about the background and stuff. Like maybe one day I will, but I'm just proud that I'm doing anything with this channel, um, and my art, which is in progress now. And I have paintings on the website that I'll link below and, you know, I try and do all this work and work really fucking hard at it so that I can afford care for myself. And now I want to start, you know, going to school again, maybe. And I want to do all of this so that I can help other people in the next generation. So, yeah. So that's why I do what I do. Um, again, I have veered off course. Um, I don't even know what medication I've, rem I've remembered or forgotten to take. Um, I just, you know. I'm just happy to start something that hasn't made me break out in a rash yet. It's about three hours into my first um, fluoxetine, uh, fluox fluoxetine, what was that pill? Um, it's called fluoxetine here. And I am not too nauseous, but I usually feel quite nauseous anyway, um, all the time. And I don't feel more agitated or you know, which is a side effect sometimes with medication. Um, I have no tummy aches, which is good, I guess. I have no headaches. I've been feeling really, really sleepy though. So I don't know whether that's like my usual ADHD 
or just like you know sometimes I just be really sleepy in the middle of the day sometimes like Ritalin like makes me sleepy you know um but for the most part I feel mm, feel not shit you know but sometimes I do feel not shit and it's great so I'm going to see how it goes and we're going to see if this works. I'm going to course for 30 days first and then I'll go back to the psych if I can afford it. Uh, I'm going to fucking try. Um, and we are going to see whether, you know, the meds need to be tweaked or something else. Like there are other alternatives um, and there might be better medication, but we're also trying to work with affordability in my case. And yeah, things I'm excited about this week is a tiny conversation with a minister in the country. It's an open dialogue session thing, which I got shortlisted for, which is great. But of course, the registration link is jammed. But I hope I press the send in time. Um, and it's to talk about women's issues. And I look forward to that. I want to speak about equality, race, and I'm going to try to slip in a bit of mental health care. Um, if I can, you know, you know, because girls, ADHD, shit, I'm passionate about girls, autism, passionate, abuse, very passionate, all of that. So I am a wreck, uh, as usual, but I've learned how to embrace it. And yeah, I, I hope this helps me regularly. And, and interesting things that I will probably do a separate video about, no, no, no. And just, I want to do many things. I do try to do many things and I might not. So that's kind of, I wish there was a shorter way to say that. But whenever I say I want to do something, that's kind of why I mean. Um, so uh, interesting things that my new site said, he's very ethical, um, was, you know, when I am me, I feel like 1 to 15, which is great, you know, for my art and all that. I can tap it in. Yes. Um, I will always have that range that I can reach for, but I should never be unable to regulate it on a normal basis. Like if I don't need to reach, why am I jumping so high? You know, like not even by choice. And um, what hopefully this medication will do is help me, you know, be sad, but not be devastated over everything. Be happy, but not be so elated that I can't move for the next hour because I've just been overjoyed i don't know if you relate or you know uh as well you know anxiety compounds i have xanax for that but we don't want to play benzos too much so far in the 20 21 year we know that that shit develops um dependency but to be honest the most benefit that xanax has given me is knowing that it's in my bag especially when i'm going out or I'm in a lift or in a plane, like knowing that I have it has kind of actually helped me so much more and so much more often than taking it. So, you know, th there's that. But also, I will never deny that it helps. It helps me on like the humps. It, it does. And I am, and you know, my brain is going to suffer for this. I'm, you know, my memory is going to get a bit cooked from this, but it's so much better than where I came from, which is, alcohol and addiction and 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 it was it's a different kind of escape from suffering but if in the end like you get risks either way i just hope that this path can be more affordable and accessible so that people can choose in the first place to do this if they're in a bad place or you know just if you're just not you know, this should be an option. It shouldn't be like, hey, do you want to have a beer and a cigarette? No, you should be able to be like, hey, I'm really not feeling it. Maybe I'll book an appointment with my psych. You know, so un until the day that that becomes a norm, I think I'm really, you know, I've, I've got some ways to go. The world has got some ways to go. And, and of course, this is the perfect, perfect dream world, but I do not think that it's impossible to get to. Um, and I hope by speaking, more and more frankly about this uh you get somewhere and if not i hope it helps you if you happened upon this video wonder what the hell it's like with mental health 
problems in Singapore. I don't even know if problems is the right thing to say anymore. Um, neurodiversity and affordability. Because most of my friends are, you know, dealing with this whole like graduate income shit. People want to pay you too much. They want your experience. They want you to study for 10 years and have 30 years of experience. Like, you know, maybe some people can do that. Maybe, right? You're not paying them enough. Or, or there's so much social pressure to like, to like go eat and go brunch with your friends. And I, I'm, I'm sure like the, the, the lockdowns and stuff have helped save money in that way, you know, and we're being chased by all these like sales, you know, which are tempting. And I have impulse control issues because ADHD and because who can ignore a 60% off deal if it's shoved to you like seven days a month which is like a quarter of a month. And then you have to click unsubscribe from your like five emails that you've created trying to manage your shit and sort your shit out and all of that. Anyway, anyway, so that was my, that was my 15, 16 minute video for the day. I'm just going to probably throw it up, barely clean it. Um, I've kind of not used the mic for ages or a special light. I will intend to try my best to fix audio and video quality uh, I have things I want to work up to like a proper background and everything but at the same time I think that just getting shit out the door is something that I struggle so much with because I used to just be like it has to be perfect it has to be perfect and if anything worrying about making it perfect and making it perfect tired me out so much that I couldn't actually get anything out the door um and I've learned that there is, there is courage and the need for embrace of imperfection. Um, and it's hard because it usually is not pretty. Um, yeah. So that is my very disjointed chat. And I hope it helps you. And I can't wait to see you when I next see you. Oh my God. If I do two uploads in a row mind-blowing like one day after another the day will come i am sure i hope so um, but, but right now i just i just hope this helps this helps you feel less alone especially if you are singaporean or asian or eurasian anyone and you relate it sucks and i know that it's hard to get help and i hear you and i can't i don't know I can't do more than I do right now in this moment to help you. And I'm sad and I wish I had a billion dollars to to give people to get treatment while trying to change policies so that it can be affordable. But I hope to work to that and, you know, start my little school for ants. <laughs> so I will see you soon. Uh, if you like art, please take a look at my art. Like, subscribe, comment, something about the bell if you want to hear me chat more. I could be like the person that just keeps talking while you put on your makeup. Maybe you like something, you know? Um, yeah. So take care. Happy New Year. Um, let's hope this shit doesn't evolve like a Pokemon. Um, I hope we end up okay. And here's to, to healing. I'll see you soon.